Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a full month love in general situation reading for you Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good guys. This reading for today, this is for the Virgo friends out there. This is for the Virgo sign. Let us see what is coming towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know. This is for the Virgo sign, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you would like to further connect with me, guys, all you need to do is to um, go to the description box below. You'll find the details of my Instagram account, our website, all the products and the services that we offer outside of the YouTube platform. It is found in, um, in our website, okay? So let's see what's coming towards you guys. This is a full month reading. We'll pick up love, career, finance, and general situationship message for you guys. Okay? What can I get for Virgo, please? Oh, you've got the six of wands. I feel like you're going to get an award, you know. Oh, ace of cups. Wow. You've got the hermit card. This is your Virgo card. You've got the five of wands. The knight of wands. And you've got the star card in here. I'm really hearing the word, um, it's time for you to go. You know, maybe physically, uh, emotionally, mentally, but there's something that you need to go. You need to go, yeah. There's a two of cups and you have the emperor card in here, okay. Let's get your one card energy check-in, overall energy check-in for the month, full month, please. For Virgo, you have the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this month for you, Virgo, it's going to be focused around recalibration of your priorities, of your love situation, partnership, maybe where you live, maybe where you work. But there is something that I feel like you're full of energy and you have now time to reorganize, to rearrange, to recalibrate your priorities. Okay? six of pentacles in here like even it out balancing balance things out in your life okay um i'm also hearing investment you're going to invest with a car for some of you invest in i don't know high-end car or devices or something inside the house as well you're going to invest okay now let's pick up more intuitive message for you you have the Six of Wands in here. This is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You've got the Knight of Swords. This is Aries, sorry, uh, Gemini, Rib, Aquarius. And you've got the Ace of Cups. You have a back-to-back -back opportunity in here, you know. You're coming towards me, Virgo, full of life, full of energy. And I feel like there is... Um, I feel like you're just very cheerful and energetic. Maybe there is a change of diet. Because, you know, sometimes when you... Ch sometimes there are some foods that you... It really imp improves your well-being. For some of you, you're really getting a lot of good sleep. Hydrated. And it really affects your mental and emotional. So, with the six of wands in here, you're really very productive and proactive with your work, with your life, with your lifestyle. You keep moving. And Ace of Cups unexpectedly the places you visited you know that you're gonna visit um there is an ace of cups moment in there so for some of you you're going to attend an award okay like a party award movie premiere or movie um that event that party or that that celebration there's gonna be a place yeah there's gonna be a place there's a celebration you went there for another person but you're going to be the highlight of the meeting. For some of you, it's like a work meeting or a work function or work event. You're going to be you're gonna be mentioned in there and they're, they're going to welcome you. Or if they're not going to welcome you, you're going to be unexpectedly recognized or given a praise, appraisal or reward. And then in that group, there are other people like employees or there are other peoples in the function but you guys are interconnected you know somehow same company or maybe same there's an interconnectivity between the two of you and there's an ace of cups 
So at one point in that conversation, in that moment, in that, you know, party or event, there's going to be a moment where everybody would look at you. Somehow you're going to be mentioned. And this person will see you. And they will find you cute. And they will find you interesting. Okay? They have a letter B and letter U in their name. Or B and U is very specific with this event. Queen of Swords. They can't forget you. So there's new love coming your way. Could be soon. Or for some of you, I really feel like soon. Yeah. It's like beginning very soon so accept those invitations and this person could not get over you queen of swords they find you smart and they really find you very cute and smart and they really like your smile so this person will pursue you they'll find you i feel like this person will connect to your social media if it's not this the social media like it's the professional um it's like the professional account like professional social media you know like it's letter l link then they, they'll find you there or maybe another social media account but they'll find you and they will connect with you okay so that's a good one and then you've got here the hermit card the five of wands the knight of wands for some of you guys you're full of energy you're very productive you might over produce or over productivity that you might need to take a rest but something that you're doing, you're not a robot, Virgo. <laughs> At some point, you get tired. Knight of Wands, a friend of yours or maybe an idea will pop up, an energy will pop up, an opportunity will, will pop. And it's going to be encouraging you. Hey, travel. You know, travel, Virgo, Five of Wands, Hermit card. If you have, if you felt like, oh, I haven't had a break, you know, mid-year break or something, this is a time for you. I feel like, work is good it's very manageable there's it's good busy and you you find your work i don't know easy i mean there's a lot of workload but it's easy and you're full of energy and there's an advice for you to travel accept a travel maybe a road trip or like a one day domestic flight or trip that you are needing yeah you could be visiting a friend or someone that is pregnant or about to give birth to an idea. Maybe they're going to open a business. Like there is a travel that involves family or friends about someone's giving, they will give birth or they will, they're about to give birth um, a business. Like it's going to be a travel in a very supportive way to this person. Okay. So, and then um, you've got the star card. I'm really getting a lot of vibe that in the next two to three, th there is a full, sorry, new moon. Okay, I'm doing this today. There is a new moon and pay attention to your dream. You know, there is a lot of um, spiritual message, your guide, your angels, your intuition is speaking to you, guiding you towards your dreams. So this month, pay attention specifically to your dreams because it's telling you where to go, what to do. You know, sometimes it's kind of difficult to understand to understand our dreams. So when you dream and you remember it, you also remember the feelings. So there's a lot of message that you can download via your dreams. You know, you could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. You have a two of cups. So I'm really getting like this month, you will have a possibility to have a new love. And then things could go further and it might take you by surprise because this could be the one okay. like i'm really getting like the person that you would be connecting there is no drama it's just gonna go with the flow it's in alignment of what you want and what they want i feel like it's just not force it will just happen and you will have a two of cups moment and i'm seeing you guys holding hands at the end of this month and you could declare that i have now a boyfriend or a girlfriend like it just happens you know two of cups moment i don't sense that this is an ex it's possible that this is someone like you dated and then things got sour or fall apart but they will return and it would just click it would just happen because it's divine timing and i feel like with this reading with the two of cups you're not even looking for love or love or relationship is not your priority you're just so excited with something about business or work or travel and this person came along and you're just so in alignment because it's so organic because i feel like in the past there was a little bit of control coming from you and you let it go and there is a two of cups moment 
the last card is you've got the emperor card you could be dealing with an aries i feel like at the end of this month there is something i would say good vibe good much like it's a good mature vibe that you will feel virgo because you feel like for the first time for the first time in the last two three years you will feel like you're finally home or you're feeling like you have control to the direction of your life there's a sense of maturity contentment and control to your life overall it is a bit cheesy or it is a bit like um there's a feeling of nostalgic like you can sit down and relax because life is good you know in, in the last two years, it's been, I don't know, maybe post-COVID, but as a part of the, this is you, you become the emperor of your life. You have architecturally designed your life. And at the end of this month, you will feel that a sense of relief, success, and contentment because you are where you are right now. And that is the work you've done in the past. You feel also like nostalgic because it's coming towards your birthday, you know, the emperor card. It feels good it feels good so this is your reading virgo thank you so much for being here thank you so much for supporting the channel it's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys i will see you soon you have a great day bye bye